Today on Barbecue Superstars, we've got the Rolling Grill, big time Georgia competition team, and Future Chef. Future Chef has got some fantastic rubs. We're going to test them out in these next four shows. The Rolling Grill has won a lot of grand champions, and he's a big time catering and private chef in Atlanta, Georgia. One of the best cooks in the country. Let's see what happens. Is a pork loin. And we're going to try both these companies' products on a pork loin that we got. And uh, for some reason, and I don't know why, pork loin right now is cheaper than Boston butt. I never thought I'd see the day with center cut boneless pork loin. cheaper than Boston but so of course I went ahead and got one this is an IBP IBP you know because and I hate to be ugly Smithfield sold out to the Chinese and they're raising pork prices single-handedly you know I blame, I blame the increase in porks across this nation on Smithfield uh, IBP is the premier uh, pork company in the world now so you know if you go into a establishment and they got IBP sitting beside Smithfield it's a patriotic thing to get IBP and I hate to say it but you know to me I felt like it was a national security issue when Smithfield decided to sell out to China and uh, I think it's turning out that that is true because when we get to where we can't buy meat, people are going to go hungry. People are probably already going hungry because they can't afford to buy meat. And it's not like we've got tons of money out here that we're just laying on. You know, it's, it's a decision between buying high gas or buying meat to feed your kids. And, and in a country like the United States, you shouldn't have to make those decisions. We're the number one producing company of just about everything in the world, except for oil, which we, Texas is cranking it up. We're going to be the number one oil producing company, country in the world here in another. You know. So buy BP. It's owned by Tyson, and I believe Tyson's still an American-owned company. Okay, so we're going to open up our pork loin and try to keep it where we don't gouge it, put a gouge in it. Georgia Barbecue Association has a category for pork loin. U.S. Barbecue Association would do a pork loin added uh, category if you wanted us to. It's just another barbecue, no problem. All right. Now, of course, I like to take the cap off mine because all these uh, membranes, they just inhibit flavor. We're going to get these off of here. You know, back in the 30s and 40s, 50s, a big company like Smithfield wouldn't have sold that to the Chinese. That That's like... You know, I mean, I know we're trying to be one world, one world under God now, and talk about new world order and all this other stuff, but common sense after a while is common sense. Now look, change the nomenclature, raise the price. You know, of course, oil's probably driving it all, but...
like to make a shout out to our U.S. Barbecue Association Executive Director, uh, Christy Chambers. She's doing an outstanding job. She's really moving U.S. Barbecue Association ahead forward quickly. And uh, she has spearheaded everything we need to get this thing on the road. She is a big time marketing person. We can we can put your company in events in every market in the United States and we're going to be able to do it very quickly. So uh, get on board with the U.S. Barbecue Association. We are everywhere. We really are everywhere. some of that on there. I, will, I, think I, I mean, I need some fat on it. Uh, that little strip probably ain't going to do anybody any good. We'll take it off. Okay, it's about allowing flavor access directly to touch the meat. And that is why I trim it. Okay, now we're going to come in here with our tailgate glass. And we're going to put us a whole can of Red Label Buzzweiser. Now, folks, in my personal considerate opinion, our uh, pork loin and uh, now we're going to try a different kind of injection today. Uh, something different and uh, uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to put in red label Budweiser now folks don't ever use anything but red label Bud for an injection or cooking I, I just don't think other beers stack up when it comes to cooking it's strong it's clear you're going to need something in a in a cook that you can taste uh, so it's got, it's got enough flavor and strength to it that uh, you're going to be able to taste it in your cup. So we're going to go with beer as a base uh, of our injection. Now we're going to put Dale's in it. And I tell you, Dale's, Dale's is really strong. It's a fantastic flavor enhancer. It's fish sauce. And yes, you should use fish sauce in your injections. Okay, now I've got a little something I'm going to throw in here that's going to spice it up a little bit. We've got balsamic vinaigrette. And uh, balsamic vinaigrette made, this came from Costco. I do a lot of shopping at Costco. The only problem Costco's got, and it's been made very famous by our friends, you know who I'm talking about. Uh, they don't have bone-in pork butts. Big deal. I'm sure uh, I go in there and get with them. I can get bone-in pork butts right there on the counter for you. Okay, so we're going to use that for our injection. And... Now we're gonna you know. I I'd like to say that uh, if you 
don't cook barbecue on television or at your house, nobody's seen you cook barbecue. How can you say you're a barbecue entertainment company? I tell you what's really funny is uh, when you cook on a team you're not actually the cook and you don't do much of the cooking but you end up on television and radio all the time like you are the cook I think that's funny too <laughs> one requirement for being a pretty good cook now I'm just coming in from the side if you'll notice is you gotta be able to cut up vegetables and cut up uh, you actually gotta be able to use a knife ooh man look at that bee now that bee right there ain't playing ooh that thing's big enough to eat you right there well I'll tell you well yeah, I'm going to go one more time with it. Now, I don't usually shoot across the top, but I am this time. We're doing things a little different. And uh, this combination and this injection uh, today, uh, it's going to be really, really, really good. Okay, I'm going to get my big butcher knife. And I'm going to slice our pork loin in half. Now, I never ever do that, but I'm going to do it this time because I got two companies that I'm going to try to work with here. And, uh, we want to compare colors, we want to compare flavors. Now, the first company that we're going to work with, we have to go with the barbecue competitors first. I'll tell you, this is a rolling grill. These guys are on it. They compete. They make a living. They cater. This is their job. Barbecue and seafood is their job. They're barbecue pit masters. Uh, they're big time, big time, big time barbecue cooks. And uh, we've got the The Rolling Grill, the Georgia I-20 Seasoning Rub. An excellent blend of spices for beef, pork, chicken, seafood, and veggies. Flavor is bold and explosive. Papayo! The Rolling Grill, Eric Thomas. I really like Eric. He's a sharp dude. I like his team. I like the way he handles the business. If you need a catered event, Google the Rolling Grill. Go to his website, get his phone number. And or look up Eric Thomas on Facebook and uh, man he's the kind of guy Vander Holyfield will fly in you know he out of Atlanta everybody who's anybody in Atlanta Eric Thomas would probably cook for him already woo look at that red flavor baby man look at that red flavor man I hate to use this stuff Looks too good. I'm going to have to put this up there at the top of the top. Oh, boy, does this smell good. What you doing, Eric? What you doing? I'm doing a little bit of gourmet style right here because... This here gourmet barbecue rub. Man, we're going downtown to the U.S. Barbecue Association comp. We're going to win a grand. Ain't like the Gimme League. U.S. Barbecue going to be the real league. You got to earn it. You going to have to turn it in. And you're going to have to dodge the debt table because we ain't putting up with no debt table. You're a promoter of the death table. We're going to seek you out and paste your face right on the front of Barbecue Superstars. Man, that's some beautiful stuff. All right, let's get the other rub now. They got easy open container. Boy, I love it. And then it's uh, metal. Now, like I've said before, 
metal, aluminum, is polar. Rubs and organic is nonpolar. Polar and nonpolar repel each other. So in a metal container like this aluminum, your rubs will stay fresher because the oil in the rubs can't permeate the container. We're going to have to get just a little bit closer in on the rolling grill. On our second camera there. Now really, a big piece of pork like this, once you put all these rubs on it, you ought to let it sit 15 minutes. Now don't, don't put your rub on the night before because it just draws the moisture out of it. Okay, now we're going to step over here right quick, and we're going to start our charcoal, which I should have did first, so I could get it rolling while we was working on our meat, but uh, we like royal oak. Royal oak, that royal oak, some fantastic charcoal. And we're gonna crank it up here in just a minute. And these royal oak bags are pretty easy to open. For that pork loin to cook, I might have cut the cook, cooking time just a little bit by cutting it in half. But uh, we want that moisture to roll from one end to the other. Whoa! Roll from one end to the other inside that pork loin. fluid on let it burn for a little bit get good and hot one thing about it that's it that royal local get to rolling now quick do a good job Okay, now we're going to come back with our other pork loin, and we're going to use Future Chef. One thing about Eric Thomas's rub, it's championship grade, it's thick, no way that meat will run through it and there won't be nothing left. It's going to feed that meat everything it can hold. So this is a good rub, good thick rich rub. You out there watching, man, just take a chill pill. Let's let's have a good time today. We're gonna sit back and cook a couple hours. What do you think? We're gonna do these pork loins, and then I got a whole chicken. Then I got some competition chicken. And I'm gonna show you, hopefully, some of you barbecue cooks how you can save money on your competition chicken. Most of you probably already know it, but I don't think anybody's doing it. Of course, you pay $250, $300 entry fee. Paying an extra $3 for your chicken ain't no big deal. But, you get 30 comps a year, that's $100 you can save.
unless you'd like some other people, you can get it free. Looks like our, looks like our uh, charcoal is doing good, so now, you know, to tell you the truth. That might be pretty good right here. Future Chef. They got a lot of different types of seasoning right there. I'm going to pull you in just a little bit so you can watch it up close this Saturday morning. And uh, Cajun, Floor Bean, Southwestern. We'll put all three of them, all three of them on this pork loin. So I'm gonna start off with Cajun rub and seasoning. I think I'm gonna start off by busting open the bottle. bit on the spoon. Uh oh, it's getting hotter. Of course it's Cajun. Well, I like the shaker. Shake it up baby, shake it up baby. Twist and shout, twist and shout. Good cross here. We'll save some of that for the chicken. That's going to be good on chicken. All right. So now we got. I'm going to do it as it gets darker. I'm going to put all three of them on there. Floor bean seasoning. Floor bean. I'm not sure why it's called floor bean, but artesian seasoning blends. Have to get a spoon to eat a little bit of this. Let's see what we got here. Whoa! Wow! That's different. I'll just give you a little hint. It's got coffee in it. I 
All right, we're going to do us a little southwestern rub season. Get a little spoon to taste this in just a minute. Man, both of them pack a punch. Both of them are great that I've done so far. They pack a real punch. White pepper. I can see there's that white pepper in here. Well, if you subscribe to the Barbecue Superstars Cooking Channel, you get all the videos where I've cooked over the last four years. Well, looking pretty good. Let's set them side by side. Yeah, we'll look at Eric's versus. Let you get a little comparison note going there. Now, now Eric's looks competition ready. Look at that red. Look how the the pork loin has sucked up the meat. It has done a wonderful job on the meat. It's just amazing. Okay, now, let's pull this around now and get back on our roll of loop. We're going to put our, put our pork loins on after we get our grill back together. And, uh, get our, uh, Grilling everything in there now. Smoker builder. Uh, boy, this roll of oak really took off. Smoker builder build it where if you cook big pieces of meat like a box of butter, or brisket, or some kind of pork, there's a reflector plate that'll keep it from falling right in the fire and catching the thing on fire. Now, when you keep the vents open on a smoker builder, or a man cooker, uh, those vents act like a chimney, just like when you're lighting it with a chimney. So you got to keep the lid on it. That was one thing that he taught me very quickly when I started making videos with the Iron Man cooker. And uh, got to keep the lid on your Iron Man. Get you a little closer right here. Well, I tell you, that's one thing Royal Oak does. It puts off good smoke. Now, Royal Oak really has won a lot of championships in barbecue. Royal Oak don't play. They, uh, they've got a heck of a pedigree. They sponsored the best, but the best won with it. It's proven. It's proven. All right, so we're going to give you a big time look right here at the rolling grill. That's some championship rub. That stuff's beautiful. He's ready for the big time. Big time. All right, and this is the future chefs with their three rubs on it. really need to put these on the edge because I'm going to come in here with a whole bunch of chicken in just a minute. So we're going to let our Iron Man UDS work. 
And uh, give me just a minute, and I'm gonna clean up my pans and get some stuff ready. We're gonna move on the whole chicken. I think I'm just gonna use the future chef on the chicken. Now I'm gonna tell you something, that future chef packs a power punch. It's a powerful flavor coming off it. The rubs. He's got a good mixture going there. I have to give the man credit. That one rub's got coffee in it. Surprised me. Woke me up. I was asleep and it woke me up. Great job on this chicken right here. Yeah, I like these meat rakes on these. And here's the, uh, the rolling grill one. That one came out really nice. Not good too. That there's the future chef. quick we're gonna treat this about like a back rib you from earlier I'm gonna pour a little bit of this in there that I have Texas crust wrap on it. Now we're going to dump a little more Budweiser in there. Need to put a little coat of rolling grill on it. Oh, 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 put too much, hey. Ah, uh, Budweiser. Eating all over. Boy, that's a good rub. <clears throat> all right, now we got our <clears throat> future chef. Put some of this garlic type rub on it. Texas. Put these back in the grill. Everything we 
guy's right now. Probably looking at two more hours before those would be done. Leave our chicken in there about another 30 minutes. U.S. Barbecue Association chick is coming on, but we're going to leave it back in there for maybe 20 more minutes to come back. So we're going to take a little station break, and we'll be back in about 20 minutes. Email Linda Orson. Okay, here's the uh, future chef's finished product. Let's see what it looks like. My goodness, look at there. That's beautiful. We gotta give it a shit. Hell yeah. Doing good. Let's see. Oh, dang, I don't even see the four power she's doing this. I need to cut it, just need to pull it apart. Oh, look at there. Look at about that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Put a little smoking coals on it. Good done. I don't know if you can see it TV land, but steam is rolling off of it. Uh oh. Uh oh. All right, I got one more to go. Definitely at least. This the big finish, the big show. A roll and grill. There's Tom. That's what I'm talking about. Ta-da! Alright, let's see what we got here.
rolling grill. Pour us a little more smoking coals in our. It didn't need any barbecue sauce, to be honest with you, but. Mmm. God, I just died and went to heaven. Whoa, what? I'm going to stop eating in 30. The 45 minutes. Somebody open the window. Oh my god. My well, folks, that right there is so good, it's just wrong. Loving you is wrong. Oh man, that's good. Well, folks, we got a whole lot of eating to do. We appreciate everybody coming by. We're going to have to pop one more. Appreciate you cooking with us all day. We're going to shut it down and we're going to eat. combination. We have to give the rolling grill is championship props. It is everything it says a competition championship rub. Get some rolling grill today. Chefs of the future, I tell you, fantastic, great profile. Did a good job on the pork loin and the greens. It's a great kitchen addition. We want to thank everybody for sending their rubs and sauces to us on Barbecue Superstars Cooking Channel. And we'll see you next time.